हेलो नमस्कार माय नेम इज सृजन राजपूत एंड यू आर वाचिंग अस ऑन ई विद्या चैनल नंबर टेन दिस इज अ लाइव इंटरेक्टिव सेशन ऑफ एन बिसाइड दिस यू आर आल्सो वाचिंग अस ऑन अवर ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल दैट इज एन ऑफिशियल बिसाइड दिस यू कैन कनेक्ट विद अस एंड वी विल हैप्पी टू सी यू एंड द कनेक्टिविटी so you can call us our number is flashing on your screen that is 8800440559 beside this you are watching us on evidya channel number 10 so you can mail us on dth.class10@ciet.nic.in beside these mediums you can also connect with us through our official youtube channel's live chat box comment there your questions as this is the class of english and we are going to start the chapter let letter writing you know uh, in our daily life communication helps us build a relationship by allowing us to share our experience and making us to connect to others letters are, are an important uh, means uh, of communication as we all know ki letter likhna hamari daily life ke liye kitna important hai hmm? uh, today our lesson is letter writing and our student will learn how to write a formal letter from examination point of view i am sure this is a, a very important chance to grab more and more marks in english to write up a good letter so let's introduce our today's guest ma'am poonam kapoor you are a freelancer formerly kvs teacher you are most welcome in this session ma'am namaskar namaskar uh, srijan मैम हम सभी ये तो जानते हैं कि लेटर अपने आप में बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट है क्योंकि दिस इज़ अ कनेक्टिविटी ऑफ हर्ट यस या और हम सभी जब ये जानते हैं तो बच्चों के लिए एक अच्छा मौका है ना मार्क्स गेन करने का एब्सोल्युटली दिस इज़ अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन लेटर राइटिंग क्वेश्चन विच वेयर इन चिल्ड्रन कैन ग्रैब फाइव ऑन फाइव मार्क्स जी सो यू नो हम सभी जानते हैं कि कनेक्टिविटी के आपके और हमारे मीडियम्स कितने बेहतर हैं आप हमसे इंग्लिश का कोई भी क्वेश्चन कर सकते हैं क्योंकि इंग्लिश में जब आपको लेटर राइटिंग करनी है और आपको मार्क्स गेन करने हैं तो आप कमेंट कीजिए अपने टॉपिक को लेकर कुछ भी आप लेटर राइटिंग को लेकर जानना चाहते हैं कि ओपनिंग कैसे करनी है या फिर उसका एंड कैसे करना है सो स्टार्ट लेटर राइटिंग विद पूनम मैम येस गुड आफ्टरनून माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास टेन today we are taking a topic from your writing skills that is letter writing letter writing and letter writing as you know carries the weightage of 5 marks letter is the most common and convenient method of expressing our thoughts and opinions Absolutely. truly speaking letter writing is an art it reflects the index of the person who is writing the letter and this is uh, the stage when children learn to write effective letter and also a chance to grab full marks in the exams upcoming board exams and pre board exams mm -hmm. so well children now let's start with today's lesson letter writing now as you can see on your screen that a letter is a written message you have so many thoughts you have so many opinions and you want to convey it to the concerned person so this written message is conveyed from you from one person to another person through the letter letter is the medium so it is a means of communication and a store of information letter writing has played an important role through our um, uh, in our lives isn't it so now let us see how many types of letters are there there are personal letters and official letters so children in your syllabus we have official letters the formal letters and this is the official correspondence or the letter to the editor you have um, letter of enquiry letter of complaint letter to the editor in your syllabus and today i shall help you understand how to write and how to attempt this question in the exam okay barely you have to um, spare your 20 minutes time for hmm. letter writing so what should you keep in mind while writing the letter how to write formal letters 
as i have told you that the formal letters are written to the heads of the departments to the principal to the editors of the newspaper and so on and so forth hmm. so now let us understand first of all how the letter is written see the f- what are the important things you should keep in mind while writing the letter first of all on the left side of the paper you will write hmm. your own address okay. your own address on the left hand side this address minimum should be of two lines maximum three lines not beyond that so hmm. that is uh, how you will start the formal letter sender's address comes first of all sender is the person who is writing the letter that means your own address should come okay without giving any space in starting in a in a st- straight line okay. it should fall in line all the first words should fall mm-hmm. in line and it should be written on the left hand of the uh, left hand of the paper okay isn't it and no commas to be put, put after each mm-hmm. line then leave one line and write down the date you have to write down the date there are two ways you can write the date one is 8th december 8th december 2023 or you can write down december 8 comma 2023 both are correct so you should write a li- uh, and, and you should write the date after leaving one line after sender's address and then again leave one line and then write down receiver's address whom the letter is addressed to the editor okay. the editor then which newspaper if it is given in the new uh, in the question paper write and uh, write a letter to the editor of the national daily then you should mind what is national daily you are not supposed to write the national daily you should not write the national daily you should write the name of the national daily if you write the national daily you will be losing marks this is wrong you will write down the editor the editor then after the below the the should come but not the national daily the times of india the hindustan times so the editor the times of india national daily means you should write the name of any national daily got it this is the common one mistake yes, uh, the students often make hmm. they yeah. write the national daily no you should not write national daily you should write the times of india the tribune the hindustan times the economic times like this okay the hindu it should be the name of any national daily and if the name is given in the newspaper then write down the same name so all official letters are addressed either to the authority they uh, or to the post of a person isn't it hmm. so receiver's address is written after addressing the official example just now i have shown the editor the times of india now children often make students often make another mistake they will write small t if they will write small t the marks will be deducted it should not be small t and it should not be small e if they write small e again this is wrong small t is also wrong it should be capital t and capital e and just below the 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 should fall the times of india or the hindu or whatever newspaper it, that is if the address is given then you can write down nayi sadak otherwise just write down new delhi hmm. all right new delhi but all the four things should fall in a straight line this is how address of the addressee is written because the proper layout of the letter uh, the uh, formal letter has a format that should be followed strictly then only g- you get the marks for the format now once you have written the r- receiver's address you will write on the subject hmm. in a very crisp form in a very concise form it expresses the main theme or objective of the letter clearly it is regarding stray animals a nuisance hmm. it is monkey menus or uh, traffic menace on roads regarding isn't okay. it so subject should not be very long it should be 
four or five words and hmm. neatly and clearly written. You may underline the subject as well. It must be as brief as possible. On a same, a one line, on uh, a straight line? No, it, it should not fall there. Yes, subject, the word subject should fall below that subject. Then yes. you will write down hmm. monkey meanness monkey meanness or whatever is the okay. um, letter you are supposed to write. Is that clear? Yes. It is a complaint regarding defective fridge hmm. or it is uh, rising prices a meanness like that. Got it. So, once you have written the subject the next is salutation, salutation or the greeting, salutation or the greeting. Now, salutation it is a greeting to the person to whom letter is addressed in official letters mostly we used sir or madam hmm. or uh, you uh, uh, keep one thing in mind that the language should be simple and again subject you have written subject and below subject s should come sir and no commas after sir there should be no punctuation mark after sir hmm. sir or madam whatever you are writing then from the next line you will start writing the letter the body of the letter now body of the letter contains the information that you want to convey now it has body of the letter has three parts body of the letter has three parts now it contains the introductory it contains the introductory paragraph starting introductory paragraph then after that it is uh, you write down informative what information you want to convey okay. and after that the concluding sent sentence because you have to keep word limit in mind concluding sentence or the concluding hmm. paragraph i think concluding sentence will be better because one sen sentence should conclude the letter now you have to be very very clear very very concise to the point and please stick to the word limit the beginning paragraph the introductory paragraph suppose you are writing a letter to the editor okay so it is it is uh, evident, it is self explanatory that you are addressing that problem to the authorities as hmm. well as to the general public. Suppose you are you get a question in the exam that uh, write a letter to the editor expressing your anguish over the rising prices. Hmm. So, so, what will be the subject? Rising prices are meanness, sir. I would like to draw the kind attention of the authorities in particular mm. and the public in general towards the uh, now towards the what that subject towards the rising prices through the esteemed through the columns of your esteemed newspaper. Keep one thing in mind that address both the public as well as the authorities and then when in the last line when you are concluding or you are expressing your hope or your wish then again you will uh, tell what should the authorities do and what do you expect from the public to cooperate, how they can cooperate. Hmm. Um, sometimes students uh, may confuse ki if they uh, write up the bodies in short, so they uh, m their marks will be deducted. See, they have to first thing is that they have to keep the word limit in mind okay. and then I have told that introductory paragraph that who hmm. uh, who are you addressing that letter to should come first i wish i wish to draw the kind attention of whom on which subject and then information hmm. a little bit two three four five sentences about that the causes the effect and then what do you expect the authorities to do the hmm. authorities should create awareness in the mind of the public hmm. uh, fair they should uh, strict they should be very strict with the public in implementing the defaulters should be fined yes and it is it becomes the duty of the public to cooperate with the authorities only hmm. then the problem of dengue the problem of rising prices can be curbed black marketing hmm. can be curbed so again in the last you have to write for both the hmm. authorities as well as the public because you have drawn the attention of both of them in the opening paragraph okay and then after that once you have written that um, uh, body of the letter then comes complimentary close i am hmm. sure the authorities would look into this matter 
uh, as uh, and take appropriate steps. This is a, a appreciation Compliment, uh, yes, one. Yes, complimentary no? steps. Compliment. See, it may it may be a complaint, it may be your anguish, but you have to use very polite, very good words. You hmm. have to be very very humble and. Um, complimentary close is a courteous way to end the letter and yeah. after that thanking you yours now the most important part which is often noticed in the yeah. exams while, yeah, while I am also getting confused when I am giving the exam what to write at the end uh, yours obediently yours faithfully see, or yours sincerely see this is the margin mm. after you write thanking you thanking you you will write Y in capital letters, yours, yours, because Y should be capital and S, no ap apostrophe S. Hmm. Yours, sincerely, since, you will write on since first, then R E L Y. The spellings will never be wrong. Otherwise, mostly it is seen that sincerely is spelt wrongly by the students. Since, hmm. you will write on since first, S I N C E R E L Y. Yours, sincerely, then you will write on signed. Kiske sign hai? You suppose you are Akshat, you want to write a letter. So, whatever hmm. name is given in the newspaper, in the question paper, you will write down Akshat S, Akshat P. Who are you? Because you are addressing some problem, you are an aggrieved citizen. Okay. Aggrieved citizen, the spelling should be correct. Uh, uh, if you find the spellings of aggrieved difficult, you may write down a concerned citizen. An aware citizen. An aware citizen, a concerned citizen, an aggrieved citizen. So, yours, um, yours sincerely, yours truly, you can write down, you can use the word truly also, T R U L Y. But here also, children they make mistakes, they write on T R U E L Y, which yeah. is wrong. So, truly has only five alphabets T R U L Y. L -Y. So, truly, yours sincerely, or yours truly is written and then after putting sign you will write on the you will make um, put your name and also your designation or in what capacity are you writing the letter then the signatures and the sender's name along with the designation which may be added may not be added now this was how you write letter to the editor now let us see how to write the complaint letter again the it, um, this is again a formal kind of letter. It will start with your own address in two lines minimum hmm. and maximum three lines. Leave one line, write down date. Date I have just now told you how to write the date. Leave one line, address the letter to the uh, addressee. Who are you making complaint to? I is it regarding some product? Complaint may hmm. be of product. It may be a complaint against some service, isn't it? So, det details of that faulty product. You have purchased a hmm. refrigerator and it is not working or the television or the camera. So, you should also mention in the opening paragraph after you write down the subject that I purchased such and such item wide cash memo number dated this in the opening okay. paragraph on the persuasion of your salesman. Yeah. Now, very clear. Is not it? Yeah. So, uh, what is the nature of the complaint should also be? Uh, written there and then in the last in the closing uh, paragraph or the concluding sentence you should clearly write you expect the um, um, that firm to replace it or you want the refund or you want that to be uh, that to be uh, seen by some expert whatever you want replacement refund or the uh, that fault should be checked whatever you want then the um, after that you must write information regarding the bill and enclosures ok what all after putting your signatures and after the complimentary close hmm. you should write down again you will write down an aggrieved customer and then after aggrieved customer your complete phone number and everything should be given hmm. and then write down that um, enclosures what are the hmm. enclosures you have enclosed the cash memo in duplicate yeah. or the photocopy you, that should be mentioned then you also have in your syllabus letters of enquiry hmm. the um, rest of the things are same letter of enquiry is also formal letter so again it will start with the sender's address sender's address then leave one line write down the date then leave one line write down hmm. uh, to whom the uh, enquiry is addressed to 
Yeah. Uh, beside this, can we quickly take a review of common mistakes, ma'am? Common mistakes. See the spelling mistakes, the format. So first of all, the layout of the letter. Hmm. It should the letter should look like formal letter should look like a formal letter. Spellings of the month, how you write the date is very important. Okay. Then everything should fall in one line. The editor, editor's spelling and the cap, they should mind punctuation also, capital mm. letter or the small letter, no commas after the editor, no commas after the Times of India and then you will write down the name of the city. Subject, mm. subject, small hyphen should be there. You write subject and then put a hyphen. Then clearly write down the subject and hmm. from the next line write down sir or madam uh, whatever the letter hmm. is. We want to, um, uh, when we want some specific information for someone you should write that. Hmm. I have read your advertisement, I have read your advertisement in the newspaper and I would like to join that swimming um, uh, sw camp. Hmm. And I would like to know about the membership and the other terms and conditions. So, you should clearly write what information do you want. You okay. are staying in some other city, you want to join some coaching class. So, what is the duration of the course, what will be the boarding and lodging facilities, transportation, hmm. how much fee, how, what is the mode of payment, uh, is it quarterly or annual. So, all these things you should write down first, prepare first only. Um, before the exam and hmm. then you will have no problems while writing actual exams. So, yeah. in business letters you have seen that you have to quote the reference, uh, reference mm -hmm. number and then give your arguments and yeah. your queries clearly you should ask about them. Can we also write an examination hall from starting uh, in the place of uh, address? See, in the uh, old times, yes, we used to write examination hall, ABC hmm. city, so that city is also um, not clear from, or the identity is not revealed. But nowadays, in question, complete address is given. Suppose you are so and so and um, you want to write a letter. Hmm. Uh, yeah. So, your address is given. So, you have to write the same name and the same address, whatever is given in the newspaper and then make it look like, make it look like. Uh, address hmm. where to break the line and start the next line. So, formal letter brainstorm might include when you read the question you should start forming ideas in your mind. Hmm. Read the question properly, reason you are going to write, information you want to give, information you want to get. Okay. It should be also clear. Hmm. Then it should be clear whether it is a request, um, it is a complaint letter or it is a request or order. What do you want to happen next? And your suggestions should also follow. Okay, isn't it? The organizing the ideas is very important. Here, children, I am going to share an important tip with you. Hmm. Your ideas should be properly arranged. Okay. See, uh, you can see from this uh, screen how the sender's address, hmm. date, and then receiver's address. Subject, salutation, body of the letter, how many paragraphs, then hmm. closing details, it is given. Okay. Uh, and I have separated letter to the editor and hmm. you can go through this. Also, uh, what are the opening sentences that will help you get better marks hmm. and will consume less time? Then suggested closing sentences also you can see from the screen. Hmm. You can take the screenshot, right? Yes. Now. And now some questions like highlights the um, effects of air pollution. So, I have given some specimen letters mm -hmm. also. I am sure you have understood all the 8 points that a formal letter should contain. Quickly, yeah, one, mm -hmm. once again, I will tell you that be brief and clear to the point. Use simple language and pleasing tone in letter writing and avoid using begging the favor of, I beg the favor of your most obedient servant, no, no, no use of such phrases or words be made. Yeah, in this matter we can also say simplicity is the best policy. Yes. Okay, so this is the topic for class 10th letter writing. Now time to thank you our guest uh, ma'am, thanks a lot to teachers with this a beautiful topic in a very simple way. Thanks a lot ma'am. I am sure my students will do well, all the best dear children, bye bye and all the best. Beside this, I can also, uh, there is an uh, info, important part of information regarding your textbooks. Our textbooks is also provide across the country from our sales counter. You can contact us with the Monday to Saturday from time 9.30 am to 5 pm. Our this sales counter is working for you 
न्यू दिल्ली अहमदाबाद कोलकाता गुवाहाटी एंड बेंगलुरु यू कैन कॉन्टेक्ट अस विद एन सी ई आर टी बुक्स डॉट एन सी ई आर टी डॉट जी ओ वी डॉट आई एन बिसाइड दिस यू कैन ऑल्सो डाउनलोड द सॉफ्ट कॉपी और द पी डी एफ वर्जन फ्रॉम ई पाठशाला दीक्षा और मोबाइल ऐप फॉर मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन प्लीज बी फ्री टू कॉन्टेक्ट विद अस विद अवर ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट दैट इज ऑन योर स्क्रीन डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट एन सी ई आर टी डॉट एन आई सी डॉट आई एन टाइम टू से रैप अप द शो एंड नमस्कार कीप वॉचिंग विद अस ई विद्या चैनल नंबर वन टू ट्वेल्व नमस्कार